today we're just going to take a look at AMD's Raptor Gaming Evolved app for the PC this is a nice app because it allows you to keep all of your games in one place whether they be Steam, Origin, Uplay or even web based games it also offers a nice um, customization and it also has for some games it has auto optimization of performance if enough people have played that game and Raptor has con collected enough feedback, but we'll go over that in a minute. As you can see, we have the dock on the right side here that has a number of our quick features. This is the generic one. This is what it come with. I haven't customized it as I don't use it a lot, but as you can see, it has um, their broadcast integration. You can take a screenshot, have your gallery. It'll show up previous screenshots you've taken, and you can also see screenshots by the rest of the Raptor community. You also have your friends and accounts here, which is nice because you can go ahead and add your Steam and Origin and Uplay accounts to this. So all your friends will also show up in here and you can see what they're on and what they're playing. And you can launch that game right through the Raptor application as well. It also has the more widgets, which is where you can go in and customize. As you can see, you can put your Facebook here, GameSpot, YouTube, uh, even your Gmail, Amazon. I mean the weather so it's quite nice and offers a lot of different features but the main part of this app is actually the control center which you can get by clicking here and as you see we now have the control center it defaults to the home screen where you'll see I have all my games as you can tell um, Counter Strike is of course my Steam game but then I have Battlefield 4 which is of course an origin game it does, yeah, as you can see on the Counter Strike, this was uh, this game is optimized for balance. That's obviously just how they've done it, but it is nice because it does give you the option to optimize games for performance, balance, or quality. And it even tells you that on my specifications for this game is recommended quality. Not all games support it at this time, but there are quite a fair few, and the ones that do support it are make life a bit easier as you can also see it also has a community tab where you can go and see what people were posting to do with each individual game and you can see obviously I haven't taken any screenshots from Counter-Strike Global Offense yet so I don't have any here but uh, we have all our games over here like I said whether they Uplay, Raptor I mean Uplay, Steam Origin or even some of the there is a way you can also get um, web based like browser based games in there like Battlefield Play for free and Quake Live and stuff like that as you can see they also have a store here where you can as you can see you can buy certain things with cert, with a certain amount of reward points uh, you can get reward points for signing up for things, playing games, and there's a bunch of different things you can do. As you can see here, this is not my profile, it's just one logged in, but these are what reward points I have. And as you can see, um, just signing up your first use, you can go ahead and get the 1,320 reward points in the first few minutes. And as you will see, you get on the clock 60 reward points an hour. So, that I mean, that's, that's quite nice if you think about it. Because at the end of the day, a lot of us gamers do put in a lot of time. And it might, I mean, look, you can even buy the Sapphire Dual X 270X for 120,000 reward points. Now, I know what you're thinking is that's a lot of hours logged in to get that but you would be surprised at just how many people will have that many hours logged in to be able to afford stuff like that it's just ridiculous like I said it offers a lot of great features I mean you get rewarded just for playing they've also got a great selection of free to play games as you can see that all together there's 50 of them I mean this thing like you see Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Online, War Tomb, War Thunder, uh, even Lego games. They also have Warframe on here, which is quite fun to play. And it's just 
too many of them to name, of course, but you're better off just going through and looking for them. Also, then you have the last tab we have here is the community tab where it'll auto, it pretty much asks you, like, oh, look, we see you've got these games. Do you want to join these communities? And I mean, you can always just look at the top highlights from everywhere. I don't have a lot because, like I said, I'm not logged into my official account, but. Of course, then you can see, look, Battlefield 3, there's 900,000 members in this community with almost 300,000 active. So you can guarantee people are going to be posting comments and screenshots and random stuff, which, you know, every now and again, it's fun to look at. Uh, there's also, you can see here, I've got community rewards. Um, yeah, one of the nice rewards is the game indeed. Evolve sweepstakes, you get that easily for about an hour playing, so that's nice. Get a chance to win some free games that way while collecting up reward points to uh, redeem for other games and items and even graphics cards. As you can see, you can also get 30% discount off gunners. I mean, there's a, a few different ways, and you'll notice that depending on what you play and how long you play for, sometimes when you exit, it'll tell you you have earned a new reward, and then you can go and click on it and view the rewards, and you can either claim them or not and stuff like that. But yeah, then there's also, that's the, that's the main part of the app. The only other thing really to mention is, of course, once you get, once you sign up and log in, yeah, see, it wants me to join. You can, of course, edit your profile, your avatar. It'll keep track of how many gaming hours you play across PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and all of that. So it's really a nice overall app. Like I said, I, I personally use it because it's nice to have all my games in one place. And the thing with it is, is if you do need something, um, a secondary app open, like, you know, obviously if you're going to play Battlefield 4, if you don't have Origin already open, this program will go ahead, it'll launch Origin, and then it'll also launch the battle log in your web browser, bringing you right to where you need to be to get the game going. So that comes in handy as well. As you can see, the app is still in beta, but there are more and more features being added to it every week. I've been using it for a couple months now, and I've seen quite a few updates, which are quite nice. So. I can only imagine as time progresses and more and more people start using it that there will be better rewards and more rewards for just playing video games, something that we all love to do anyway, so we might as well get rewarded for it. But that's it for now. Uh, if there are any big important updates that come along, like when it ends out of beta, I will try to do another video. Thank you for